Hey guys, welcome to this video. This video is going to be more of a theory based video than anything else. And let's just get straight into it. I want to talk about two different ways to create a project. The first is one shot, one shot. Now this is kind of the prevailing logic behind building anything with Claude code right now. Basically one shot would be something like context engineering, Archon or Claude flow in order to just build the entire project one step in, in, in one prompt, right? Now, this is what most people are doing. And I actually just wanted to make this video to say that this is actually wrong. Okay. So for something simple, like a service website, or I don't know, like, um, just an SEO website, this stuff is fine. Okay. You can just one shot a website like this easy peasy lemon squeezy. However, the actual best way to build a complicated project is step by step, right? Now, what do I mean by step by step? So if you try to one shot a prompt or one shot a SaaS, this is specifically for SaaS and apps and complicated projects, right? So SaaS, apps, complicated projects, etc. This is actually the best way to do it step by step. Now, a couple of things that you need to know before you do this is you need either, well, not either. You can use MCPs if you want, but you don't actually need MCPs. What you can actually use is CI, CLI tools. So for example, Superbase, Docker, GitHub, all that good stuff. All of these are really, really good CLI tools as well. Stripe as well. You don't, you don't actually need to use MCPs. I think this is a common misconception. People are so obsessed with MCPs because of like the hype and stuff. 99.99% of MCPs can just be replaced with CLI tools. And it's actually better to use the CLI tools just because, you know, whatever you're using is more used to using CLI tools. Now, what does that mean? A CLI tool is basically where it runs a command in the command line interface, right? Instead of using an MCP tool call, Instead, what it does is it just runs the CLI tool. Okay, so instead of doing everything in one shot, the best way to actually do it is step by step. So the way that you do that is, I'll just write out, you open Claude code, you tell it to add any CLI tools, or you manually add MCPs, you tell it to build you the, build you the framework of the project, Right, then you build the functionality, let's say back end of the project. Once the back end is done, then you build the front end of the project. And at all times you have to be testing. At all times you need to be building systems, not one offs. So what I mean by that is tell it to build a theme or something instead of just saying like, oh, make this look nice or change this, change that, add this, that. Instead, what you need to be doing is you need to be, be, be building into their systems. Now, a few more tips here definitely would be that um, you should tell it to build services. So what I mean by that is service files, because that's a really, really, that, that's like the way that you should be building stuff, right? You need to choose a framework. I like to use HTML, CSS, JavaScript with a uh, fast API backend. However, if you want security, then use React or Next.js instead of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And then just literally step by step, always give it the documentation it needs or access to the internet. Don't just let it uh, web search. Don't let it web search. The web search stuff is not very good on Claude code, I can tell you right now. And then another part is uh, constantly have Claude code update the memory as it's going, get it to store the overall implementation.md file or um, whatever. Um, so basically what, what that means, if you tell it to, when you're first planning the entire project, right, then tell it to create an implementation.md file of the entire project and then reference that in the memory file. So inside the memory file, reference the implementation.md um, inside the Claude.md memory file, connect to your DB, use Superbase CLI or MCP to do this, 
have a different setup for dev and prod push your code to github on a dev branch and a main branch push your code to doc uh not docker uh, digitalocean or aws with a um staging and prod site do all your build locally on docker uh, with the same set up as um, digital ocean or AWS, AWS, and only when you're pretty much at the MVP should you launch. Then, if you need to make a change, push, uh, pull from dev, make the changes, push to dev test then push to main this entire process here this is how i built seo grove if you don't know seo grove is my um SaaS project that we created this is it right here this is the sponsor of this video as well seo grove if you have a shopify or soon to be wordpress website then um, sign up now it's your last chance to join the wait list where you get a discount seogrove.ai uh, check it out guys if you're interested but basically this is the entire process that i followed to build SEO Grove. I'm going to be really honest with you. The one shotting thing, all it really does is just create like a lot of, a lot, a lot of crap and a lot of mock and a lot of whatever. I think if the models were better or if like we use GPT-5 or something, maybe then it'd be a bit better, but there's definitely an issue right now with all of these things. And this is from all of my testing, right? I like to test a lot before I make videos. I've been testing these three things for the last month or so. I would say for building a service or SEO website, they are easily the best. If you want to create something really cool and amazing that actually ranks on Google, then use these. And you could probably use these for your front end on your SaaS as well. But when you're building a complicated SaaS that has like 10 different service files and they all need to work together and they all need to have a very specific result, I'll tell you right now, you will waste more time trying to one-shot this with AI than you would just simply doing it step-by-step, -step, creating it one at a time, looking at the output in the terminal of every single run, making sure AI is working, make sure that each step is working, you will go a hundred times faster doing this step by step than you would attempting to one shot such a complicated project. I am speaking from experience here and I'll tell you right now, if you build one file with AI integration, what I mean by that is like you have something in the service like Claude or ChatGPT, the processes or, you know, sorts out data or gives an opinion or makes a decision or all of these amazing things that you can do with AI. If you try and build a one shot of this, it just won't work. I've never, ever, ever had it work. The only time I've had it work is when it's a very simple thing. Like I did a keyword tool, right? Keyword tool. This can work because it's one file. It's quite simple. There's only one or two pieces of AI or one or two prompts or whatever. It can handle that for sure. It can handle that, but it cannot handle a complex AI application in my experience feel free to comment prove me wrong let me know how you do it if you can show me how you do it i will try any methods that you leave in the comments i am completely open-minded and i am willing to change my mind immediately if someone can prove me wrong i have never been able to one shot a very complex um ai app with third-party apis ai app this that the other you know api key here integration here Blah, 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 blah. It's just too complicated, in my opinion, for AI at the moment, even for Claude Code. I'll leave the video there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, you're an absolute legend. And I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.